Hi YouTube, welcome to Shimmer Girl Talks. Um, I'm going to try to be brief. Uh, I just found out today that another young black male YouTuber has lost his life senselessly. His name is Ryan Chandler. Now I admit I've never heard of him until today. Um, allegedly he picked up a, a hitchhiker. The hitchhiker shot him in the head. Just tragic, you know. But um, my video today is not about him. It is about Kevin Samuels. Now, I am not trying to capitalize on someone's death. But as a matter of fact, I was going to do a video on him about two weeks ago. Matter of fact, I did do the video. I completed the video. I just never posted it. And one reason I didn't post it is because Kevin Samuels was such a polarizing um persona a lot of women hated his very guts and and actually some are celebrating his death right now which i think is not cool and shaking my head shame on them um i became aware of kevin maybe a couple of years ago uh there's another youtuber who i won't name who I felt like Kevin took a lot of his inspiration from. And if anybody follows Kevin Samuels, then you know who the other person is. But I'm not going to mention his name because he doesn't like when people mention his name because they figure, you know, you're a clout chaser and all of that stuff. Now, going back to Kevin Samuels, um, if you're not familiar with him, he is a, well, he was a, um, a influencer, a self-proclaimed relationship guru. And even though I did not have a dog in this fight, I agreed a lot with what this man was saying. And I think that a lot of people, a lot of black women got mixed up in their feelings over the things that he would say, the women that would call into his show or whatever. And I'm watching his show and to me, he's not telling black women that we don't deserve a husband and, you know, living a, a blessed and beautiful life. You know, in my opinion, he was telling those women to be realistic in your quest for a husband. And some of the women that were called in, some of them had already been married. And Kevin, rightfully so, would ask, OK, well, why did your marriage end? And the women oftentimes could not articulate why their marriages ended. And so Kevin was like, well, you didn't cite like abuse or um, cheating. So why did your marriage end? And the women oftentimes could not give like a, a solid answer. Um, other women that would call in, they wanted a certain caliber of man Yet those women were not in a social background or social, they weren't in a social, I'm trying to think of the word, arena to meet such men. Now, the high value men that Kevin would speak of, and I hate that term, honestly, but the high value men <clears throat> that Kevin would speak on, um, you know, they a lot of times would have more choices of women to choose from. And let's face it, a lot of those men would want a, a woman that looked like a, a trophy wife or a dime piece. And I feel like, yes, Kevin, at times he was rude. He was crude. He was highly superficial. Um, if I were listening to Kevin, you know, 20 or so years ago when I was still single, it probably would have, um, you know, hurt my feelings, the things that he would say, but I would probably agree with him, you know? And so you might look at me now and say, well, you have a husband, so it's, it's not really affecting you. Yes, I have a husband. I've been married almost 13 years, but before I was married, I was single. And I feel like a lot of what Kevin was saying to these women needed to be said, honestly. You know, while I was, you know, waiting on Mr. Perfection, my friends, my family, 
They met the nice average guy, got married and built a life with that hu with a husband. And one thing that our community is not really learning is marriage can be wealth building. You know, it's a two it's a two paycheck in um two um paycheck household buying a house you know maybe um you know buying into like a different school district for your children because you know you have the money to um you know kind of be in that area you know things like that marriage can be wealth building marriage is supposed to be finding the right man as an asset to your life you know and one thing that I found with a lot of women, particularly a lot of young black women, older ones too, and I used to be like this too, we want the finished product. You know, a lot of times we want that man we see with another woman, she's already put her sweat and tears into him. And now he is, you know, providing for their home and they have, you know, you know, a, a nice homey lifestyle and you know and money and this and that getting married can bring you that and i've already had that type of discussion in another video so i'm not going to go into it again but um going back to kevin samuels what happened to him is very tragic and shame on the people that's laughing at his passing whether you if you didn't agree with him you could have simply turn the channel if you didn't agree with him, you know, and you know for a fact that, hey, I got it all together. I don't need his bogus opinions about anything, you know. So I'm like, why are you getting so upset with his opinion? That was his platform. And, you know, you could, I mean, YouTube is free. You can, you know, have your own platform and bring forth what you want to bring forth. Now, um, something else, um, I get the irony with Kevin Samuels. He was a twice divorced man. He ended up dying in an apartment with a woman that he didn't know, barely knew or whatever. We don't know the, the full circumstances, but the irony in a sense is the type of woman that she was, he would have vilified the black women that used to call into his show because he would basically say your time for getting a husband should have happened in your twenties. And this woman that he died in his apartment with was I think 32 years old. So why didn't that logic apply to her? Why is she a 32 year old woman in a man's apartment that she doesn't even know. And honestly, his death is suspect to me, is very suspect to me. Um, you know, but a lot of people are like, um, well, you know, he's not even married. He's divorced twice. Why is he giving us um, any type of advice for anything? It's still, he still has some valid points. I mean, I agree. Why are you giving advice and you're divorced? But one thing that I know about people, people are going to do what people are going to do. I'm a married woman, as I said, and people don't even want my advice. I would think that as a woman that's single, you would be, and you want a husband, you would go to um, people who actually have a spouse. Um, another thing I hope I remember that I wanted to bring up uh, about Kevin Samuels. Um... Yeah, it's, that's one reason why I ended up not posting the video about two weeks ago because uh, as a black woman, I guess I'm supposed to not agree with him. You know, like some would probably um, look at me as a traitor or whatever for agreeing with this man. But I didn't agree 100% with him, but I agreed a lot with what he said for women who want husbands, you know, and people have to remember Everybody's message isn't for you. So if you find yourself getting smoke coming out of your head because of what Kevin is saying, then his message isn't for you. His message is helping somebody. 
And one thing I feel is people aren't being as tough as they should be with us. Uh, I'm talking about the ones who want husbands because I remember 20 or so years ago, a lot of what Kevin says, I was saying to young women, you're looking at 20 or so years ago and they didn't want to listen to me then. And I find so many black women to be so anti-marriage, but then at the same time wondering why they're not married. You know, I think a lot of times it does black women a disservice when people just want to poo-poo and pussyfoot around us instead of trying to, you know, um, be realistic, you know, have uh, realistic uh, expectations about getting a husband and wanting to be married and all of that stuff. But I'm again, I keep going off subject. Um, back to Kevin Samuel. Um, I also wanted to bring up Steve Harvey, you know, when he did his book about um, act like a man, think like a lady or something like that. And his present wife was his mistress, you know, um, and I hate, and it was another uh, black relationship, man. I cannot remember his name. Um, he had a quite a large following and come to find out later, he was cheating on his wife, you know. So I think a lot of people, you know, they kind of shy away from, you know, marriage and wanting to be married because so many people come forward who have flawed lives, you know, and, but I don't think that that should deter you personally from getting a spouse if that's what you want, you know, and again, building your life with them. I keep going off on on a tangent, Kevin Samuels. That's what this video is about. Kevin Samuels. Again, his death is tragic. I didn't agree a hundred percent with what he was saying, but I did, but he did have some valid points. He was just harsh in his delivery, but he really did have valid points. But, um, check out my other videos, see if you vibe with them before you subscribe. And I hope to be back another day. And I will talk to you later. Bye.